Hey guys! So we are starting a new topic this week and it's all about tectonic plates as you can see right here. Um, there are two teaks that belong to tectonic plates. That's a tongue twister. And they are right here. So the first one it says 6.10c identify the major tectonic plates including Eurasian, African, Indo-Australian, Pacific, North America and South America. So that's the first teak. The second one is 6.10D. Describe how plate tectonics causes major geographical events such as ocean basin, ocean basin formation, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and mountain building. So there's that in case you need to see it closer. Put it on the floor now. Hopefully my cat doesn't get to it. All right. So basically, what I'm gonna have y'all do this week, I'm going to have you watch a short video. It's by the company Brain Pop, and it's all about tectonic plates. And they do like a fun little adventure deep in down, like down into the ocean, and you get to see like where tectonic plates split and everything, and what happens down there. And then after you watch the video, I'm gonna have you answer these four questions in your journal, okay? Come up closer so you can see it. The first one says, what layer of earth would you find tectonic plates? And if y'all remember from last week, you learned that there were four, or pretty much three major layers of earth. You have the crust, which is the outer, Part. You have the mantle, which is the thick inner part, and then the core, which is made up of the outer and inner core. So you're going to tell me which one of those layers would you find tectonic plates. It may be one or two layers. I'll let you decide that, okay? Number two, how do tectonic plates cause geographical events? So what I mean by that, um, if you remember from the teaks, it said... Uh, describe how plate tectonics causes major geographical events such as ocean basin formation, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and mountain building. So you're basically going to tell me how do those things actually come to fruition? Like how do plate tectonics cause volcanic eruptions and splits beneath the earth and all that stuff? You're just going to tell me um, what do they actually do? What is the action? Okay. Number three. What is Pangea? It's a fun one. They will mention this in the video. You're gonna tell me what is the theory behind Pangea and what did it look like? Let's say that, okay? Last one, number four. Who came up with the idea of Pangea? And they'll actually tell you the name of the person in that video, okay? The very last thing I'm gonna do, I am going to show y'all my nifty book, okay? I'm going to go over a couple of pages. I'm not gonna read it word for word because, you know, copyright. <laughs> but I'm gonna take some summations of some pages that will help you with this little activity, okay? Here's the title in case you ever wanna buy it. It's pretty cool, I don't know. Okay, so y'all should be fairly familiar with this. You have our earth on the outside and it tells you all the consonant names. And then you go to the inside, okay? This might actually look like some of y'all's drawings from last week. You should remember that the outer part is your crust. Sometimes they call it the lithosphere. Litho meaning rock in Greek. And then this reddish, deep red part is your mantle. And if you notice, this is kind of a hint, tectonic plates but if you notice some of our crust is going into the mantle and you'll notice there's a mountain right here and that's where the tectonic plates are pushing downward so I want you to think why is that okay you have some thicker part of the crust you have thinner parts once again you have crust going down into the earth I want you to think as it's going into the mantle going towards the core what is happening to that crust right bright yellow. What do you think that's doing to the tectonic plates? You'll see it in the video. 
okay? And then your brightest yellow is your inner core, and then the lighter yellow, <laughs> yellow, <laughs> your brighter yellow is um, your inner core, okay? So that's pretty fun. And then you go back to, well, this is, that might give it away. I'm not gonna go over that. Okay, next one, this is kind of fun. Y'all remember pop-up books where you like, um, you pull on something and it moves. So this is something kind of cool, if it'll work. Ooh, look at that. Okay, you'll notice that these items right here are separating, okay? And write down, it basically tells you that when two plates pull apart, magma or melted rock rises up between them from the mantle and then re-solidifies as it cools. So classifying rocks, if you remember, cooling um, magma is actually igneous rocks. So you'll see that bright yellow magma coming up. Once it solidifies, there would be igneous rock and that would help form your crust, okay? Over here, we have two bits of land. They're side by side. When you pull it apart, they are diverging or moving away from each other, okay? Look at that. What do you think that creates? That's my cat. It's quite often um, in California. You'll notice it in California and places along the, um, what is it called? It's where that mountain is deep beneath the ocean. Shh, I'm teaching. <laughs> it says earthquakes can be caused by two plates rubbing against each other. So y'all think about it. If you like rub two rocks against each other, you'll notice there's a little bit of friction. Like they kind of bounce off of each other. It's not smooth, is it? Right? I knew she would sit on there. I just knew it. Uh, but when you rub them together, there's a little bit of um, tension going on. And it creates this shaking um, earthquake motion. So the more agitated the tectonic plates are, the bigger the earthquake. Right? And then last one over here. This one's kind of cool. You pull on this little thing and your little piece of land is shifting. Do that. I think that might be it. Oh, I forgot the volcano. Okay, so you'll actually learn about this in the video. I'm not gonna go over too much but you can see our volcano with magma spewing up and then eventually it hardens because it's cooled and it's solidified. And then you'll also learn why volcanoes. I'm so sorry, that was my cat. You'll also learn why um, volcanoes erupt, like what causes that reaction to happen, okay? So once again, you're learning about tectonic plates. Your assignment for this week is to watch that brain pop video that I'm gonna link in the newsletter. Once you have watched it, you are going to answer the four questions in your science journal, take a picture of it, and send it to my email.